Vinyl. Hello and welcome once again to another edition of Scratched Vinyl. This week's theme is... Classic, classic, classic British, British science, science, science fiction. fiction. Now you wouldn't think there'd be all that many records in my record collection or anybody's record collection that's devoted to a, a, a very specific genre like that, but you'd be wrong. Our first track is from the uh, studio, fourth studio album by the Eagles, About Last Night, and it was their last album featuring Bernie Ledden, one of their guitarists, who is also a banjo virtuoso. And I wonder if you can see where I'm going with this. And it um, features, the album itself features three of their biggest hit singles, One of These Nights, Take It to the Limit and Lion Eyes, but that's not what I bought the album for. It, incidentally, Glenn Frey said that One of These Nights was actually the easiest uh, album that the Eagles ever worked on and was a pleasure to make, but we're not here for that. If you're a sci-fi fan, you may recognise um, the last track on the first side as it was the theme to The Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy in radio, television and filmic form. And this is The Journey of the Sorcerer. Um, and it's interesting to note that uh, it was re-recorded by different artists for the TV and film uh, versions of Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. But uh, this one, the, the original from the original album, was the one used on the radio shows um, that were the most varied and, let's be honest, weirdest version of that particular um, genre of science fiction. I think it's almost a genre because it's come out in so many forms and formats and it changes subtly every time. It even changed for the computer game. So it's a very it's a very weird radio play. In fact, it did start off as a radio play and then made its way to being a book and stuff like that. It's not the theme tune to the book. But it is the theme tune to the audiobooks. So there you go. Anyway, this is Journey of the Sorcerer from 1975. Enjoy. Thank you. 
Our next track is straight from my teenage years in 1988 uh, by Transvision Vamp from the album Pop Art. It's called Hanging Out with Halo Jones and it's track three on side two. And I really, really love this track when it came out. It's uh, basically about the comic strip character and how cool she is. And the story was generally about the life and tribulations of a young woman living in a future society and somehow becoming the hero of the universe. It was written by Alan Moore, and the comic strip itself was released in 1984 and intended by Moore to run for many, many years. I mean, there are at least um, another six or seven books in the series. But unfortunately, Alan um, had a disagreement with his publishers, and it never came to be. Only the first three books were ever published. It's really good. It really captures the theme of the character, although it doesn't give much information about, away about the plot. The Ballad of Halo Jones is about to be republished as a collectible comic book. So uh, if, if you're at all you're interested, look it up on the internet. And if you're further interested, go and buy it because it's very, very good. And uh, yeah, I really liked it. Do and places to go. We 
And our final track for today is Doctor in the TARDIS by the Time Lords, also known as the KLF. Uh, it's from 1988, released in May, and apparently it was written deliberately for the lowest co- common denominator of listener, and they were right, because within three weeks of its release it went straight to number one, albeit for a single week, and uh, the KLF tried to reproduce their success, but with, without any results, to produce sort of pop singles that were just designed to go to number one. They did write a book um, shortly after that um, about how to make a number one, and at least three bands claim to have got their number one chart success from reading The Method, How to Make a Number One. So this is Doctor in the TARDIS by the KLF. Thank you very much for listening, and have a lovely, lovely day. Bye.